Hi, welcome to the NERI 2019 annual conference here in Phoenix, Arizona. I'm joined by Gary LeBranch, NERI's president and CEO. Thanks so much for having us, Gary. It's, uh, it's our pleasure. Thanks for being here as always. And I do want to start out by saying we so miss Ian Richmond, who is not able to be with us at the, the for, for the first time in 30 some years. So, That's right. Well, thank you for saying that. I feel like I'm missing my shadow this week. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we, he was here in spirit in the sense that he was actually in one of the videos that we did, uh, which was nice. Uh, so, uh, Ian, we love you. We miss you. Can't, can't wait to see you again, buddy. Well, wow. and uh, congratulations to Neri as well, of course, on the 50th anniversary. This is a momentous occasion. Um, a lot of the agenda has been looking at kind of the future of the IR profession. Yeah. Uh, Neri convened a think tank earlier this year led by Lynn Tyson at Ford uh, to look at exactly that. Uh, I'd love if you could share just a couple of the findings. They had a, a panel yesterday talking about it as well. Sure. Well, I, I appreciate you bringing that up. You know, with the 50th anniversary, we certainly did talk about the history and how we got here. But it was very important for us to keep the focus on uh, what we're really doing for the profession. We're always looking forward for the profession. And Neri is the steward of the profession. So we, we convened a think tank uh, that uh, utilized a modified Delphi process, uh, along with a survey of members and uh, uh, the assistance of a futurist. Uh, to help uh, have, a, have a small group of people really think through some of the trends and issues and disruptions that uh, are facing the uh, IR uh, field. Uh, so the, the report just came out a couple of weeks ago. We had a wonderful uh, panel discussion led by, by Lynn Tyson here. Uh, and um, we're going to continue to have that conversation throughout the, oh, the, the course of the year. But the report talked about issues like uh, the emergence of artificial intelligence, uh, the changing nature of... Uh, uh, the IR profession, as it has changed from a field that started in public relations to now a field that's deeply rooted in finance. And in particular, one of the, the major uh, trends we saw as this, the idea that um, IR professionals really are strategic leaders of multidisciplinary teams within a company. They're not solo players. So think about going from uh, thinking of IR as a solo sport to a team sport. And we think that that is increasingly going to be the future which places a whole new set of skills uh, in front of the IR professional, especially if that IR professional wants to become a trusted strategic advisor to senior management. Sure, absolutely. And a word that I've heard bandied around uh, several times over the last couple of days, or a phrase, is uh, chief intelligence officer. Yes. That, uh, there was actually just a panel uh, on that just now. And it's interesting. I feel like that's, uh, I didn't hear that discussed last year, and it kind of embodies exactly what you're talking about there. Right. I, I do like that title, and it, it, it really, I think, uh, highlights the increasing level of knowledge and integration of knowledge and perspectives mm -hmm. that the IR professional is uh, going to be responsible for into the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it, it kind of embodies the whole notion of being a two-way conduit between the street and your company management and not, uh, not fluffing up the company story, being realistic with the company story. Um, so it's very interesting. Uh, of course, the other part of this conference has really been recognizing the first 50 years of NERI celebrating the first 50 years of Neary, and uh, it was fantastic that you were able to have uh, Dick Morrill here, one of the original Neary founders. How great was it to have him here at the ripe old age of 97? Amazing. Uh, it was such a joy to have Dick here. Dick was one of the uh, nine original uh, founders who contributed $200 each to the startup fund for Neary. He signed the Constitution, was the, uh, the vice president on the first board, chaired the first national conference, really was a key player in the formation of nearly 50 years ago. 97 years old, he was here, he uh, talked to lots of our members and all that sort of thing. And as, as you know, uh, because you are one, we uh, have launched our first 40 under 40 class. Actually, there are 50 of them in honor of the 50th anniversary. Uh, but that's how we got you in. So he's a, a Ben is an actual 40 under 40 award winner. And it was so much fun. I charged the 40 under 40 honorees while Dick was here to make sure they met Dick Moore. Mm -hmm. Because I said, I want you in 25 years, when you come back for the 75th anniversary, to be, for you to be able to say you shook the hand of Neary's founder. And I told Dick, I expect you to be there to shake their hand again. <laughs> Well, thank you for bringing up the 40 under 40, and it was fantastic to talk to Dick. He is sharp as anything at 97. He is. He's uh, a legendary uh, IR professional and certainly a legend, and one of the only two surviving founders left. Thanks. Excellent. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us, Gary. Thanks for a wonderful conference, and uh, let's go and enjoy a cocktail. That, oh, uh, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> thank you. Thanks.